What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Bridges. And we're going back to the 1980 album Facultog. I wanted to give a big shout out to Sophia. She reminded me that The Vacant is actually the original version of Socks of the Fox. And when she reminded me, I was thinking about it, and I did recall that before that tune in the MTV Unplugged performance, I forget if it was Max or Paul, but one of them is like, oh, you know, this is actually us covering our old band. Uh, that line did come back to me. So, um, yeah, Socks of the Fox, which, you know, at least as it was presented in the unplugged rendering, which will certainly be different than the original we're going to hear here, no doubt. Hear, hear. Um, but, yeah, it has a drama to it. It sounds like it could be a song in, like, a, a Western film or something. So uh, I enjoyed the, the drama of the performance, again, at least as they did it for the MTV Unplugged. Um, album. So yeah, looking forward to hearing the original. Let's listen, although again it is preceded by the interlude, The Oncoming of Night. So uh, I do believe that is quite short. Let's listen. This is Bridges. First, The Oncoming of Night, followed by um, The Vacant.
intense. I hope that, like, it sounded like real, like, fox hunt uh, audio. Hopefully, uh, the trauma is long since over. Nevertheless, um, yeah, it's interesting to hear this very different rendering, even if, you know, the the architecture of the song is the same. The Not only the organ, but the, you know, the electric organ sound. But even the vocals here, it's very Doors, so it's funny, you know, listening to Paul's music over time and, you know, saying that a number of songs, either whether Savoy or Aha, uh -huh, had a Beatles flavor when it, you know, it seems like, in, and I was thinking during, I remember in the MTV Unplugged version, uh, Socks of the Fox, that, um, he or socks of a fox is it of a or is it of the i'll check in a moment um but that they said like this goes back to our pre-aha days i do remember that um but yeah it's funny because the the doors uh influence comes across much more significantly um but yeah ultimately it did have a bit of that psychedelic atmosphere to it it had um a real um, what's the right word? Like the progression of the track was, um, I don't know, unexpected is the right word, but it was very um, atypical or like non standard. Uh, it really had a surprising uh, run to it. And again, I thought that sample was like the end of the track, and then it just sort of rolled back in for the real like culmination of all the elements. I loved at the end as Paul started to riff on the guitar and then the keyboards came in the drums flourished so it was a real you know like strong sonic finish to the tune uh so yeah ultimately it's really interesting that they brought that track back for the uh aha uh -huh mtv unplugged performance given you know that it was a tune they had done so early on um but yeah now having heard the original uh i'm probably going to go back and re-listen to the uh socks of a uh, is it of a uh? I'm annoyed that I can't remember specifically um, of the, it's the definitive uh, article. Nevertheless, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.